Good morning everybody. Today is a very strange day for me because this feels really alien but a very exciting day because I'm finally having my hair done, having something done to my hair. I have no idea what. I could come out with dark hair, blonde hair, long hair, a bob. I really don't know how this is going to go down. I'm pretty sure we've booked one of the longest slots in my hair history for this because we just don't know what's going to go on. So I thought I'd bring you with me. I also have a new hairdresser at Simon Webster Hair. Sorry, I'm really dark. The camera is misbehaving today. I have a new hairdresser because my old hairdresser is on maternity leave. I miss her already. I miss our WhatsApp chats where I know what's going to happen to my hair because we like chat it out before, which is the best thing. And I could send her all my hair and spoke pics in advance so she knows exactly where I'm at. So I'm in that stage of like starting a hairdresser relationship all over again for the foreseeable until my lovely Laura is back in my life. So yeah, that's where we're at today. But by some miracle, I actually made it on time to my appointment. Like I'm actually 10 minutes early. I don't know what's happened to me. 2020 is a whole new Suze. Let's go do this. I'm so excited to figure out what I'm gonna look like for the next few months. I just don't know. This is so weird. I haven't been here in so long. I'm super early by the way. It's like nine in the morning, so it's super quiet. Oh my God, I've missed this. This is mad. Oh, it's such a nice day to be sat inside the hairdressers as well. Literally one of the warmest days we've had recently. Let's see how long it takes for us to regret having come here. I love this. Where can I put it? Can you test it out? No, no, no. I look so creepy in my mask. <laughs> that is light as well. Is that quite big or is it just me? Hmm. Where could I put you? <laughs> You're so weird. Guess who bought more stuff? Guess who bought more rattan? <laughs> Guess who we aren't shopping for? We survived. We made it. Ryan's so happy. It's time for a hot dog. Hello everybody. So I am sitting in the car and waiting for Ryan to finish up with in Ikea. My face, I've had a face mask on for most of the day and my face feels so dry. It's actually unreal. I haven't had a face mask on for that long and for quite intense periods of time i normally just pop in and out of like little shops i realized i hadn't checked in after having my hair done which was a little bit of an ordeal basically my over lockdown we thought my hair extensions had arrived it wasn't my hair extensions and i got there and i was like i just don't think this is the color that i ordered but obviously i ordered them end of february so <laughs> almost like half a year ago and i was like i just did I order this colour? So yeah, basically no extensions on my head, which I'm actually like, I'm not the maddest about. And what me and my new hairdresser have done is just run almost like some blonde just through the front parts. And when you like pull my hair back, I don't know if it will show up on, on camera, but it's like kind of got baby lights all through the front. And it's, I don't know if you can tell like on camera, I'm not wearing any makeup today, apart from like a little bit of eyebrow gel. and. It's like making me look so tanned. I'm really, really liking it. I love the color, the blow dry, the blow dry I'm really enjoying today. I'm in like trackies and a body and I feel like very Kardashian with a blow dry wearing trackies. But yeah, I thought I'd just check in because I realized I hadn't kind of showed you. It's looking like this is all my hair and it's feeling really nice and healthy. And yeah, I am quite enjoying not having the extensions purely because I get to enjoy how healthy it is feeling. And we've just taken quite a fair bit off the bottom. Not so much here, just in case I do want to wear extensions so that the shorter layers can blend. But with the swishy blow dry, it actually works really, really nicely. However, I am going back on, what day is it? Monday, I'm gonna say. Just have some toner run through the top because just the tiniest amount, it's either toner or just like, a quick little bit of highlights just to kind of soften this bit ever so slightly i don't want it softened too much but literally just like this bit here i just want that softened a little bit but yeah that is my post lockdown hair i'm loving just kind of like softening my natural color and i think i kind of want to just like have an extension of this and grow all of this out and have it be all like <laughs> so being distracting look at him i know my car my car needs a wash <laughs> We're going through a car wash on the way home. We need to go through a car wash on the way home. Got hot dogs to eat. Yeah? Nice little oh. car, isn't it? 
They smell good. Okay. Yeah, we'll eat these outside. I feel like that was all the hair chat I had. But yeah, basically, I'm really enjoying my natural hair. It's looking very cute and I feel very, very brown. I'm actually not this brown. But yeah. It's cute. Hopefully I can just keep growing it and keep like looking after it and it'll be so happy and so healthy. We're back from Ikea, we have picked up Nala, we've been to Pets at Home, I can breathe a bit now. We need to go out and get bits for dinner, but I thought I'd quickly show you what we picked up. And I'm gonna do like a, basically like a his and hers Ikea haul, because Ryan got a lot of stuff for his house. I also bought a lot of stuff for my house, which was very unnecessary, and obviously I did not need, but Ryan actually had things that he needed, which was why we went, because I basically told Ryan I wasn't cooking for him in this house until he got new knives and forks, because, because there were none and they were all in the dishwasher <laughs> literally had about two so such a like lad kitchen lads 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 yeah yeah so we're gonna do a little his and hers haul do you want to show them what you got do you know people always ask me if they can see your house so <laughs> welcome to the crib uh first in addition this lovely wooden chopping board i really like this yeah me too i really like it you got some new plates New plates and bowls. I really like these. Mm. They're like a matte, taupey colour. Yeah, I want to see them like properly on your side. We've kind of agreed unofficially that if these look a bit too like soft in Ryan's kitchen, we'll basically swap. They all look good though, because they yeah. go with like the stone look. Yeah, I think they do, yes. That was what I was thinking in, yeah. in the shop. And it's a nice contrast when you've got them on these surfaces. So when yeah. you're doing, like Ryan's personal Instagram is just food. So this will work really nicely when you're um, doing your food grams. I love those bowls. They're the perfect size for cereal. Yes, and how much was that? Well, like, <laughs> my manager did to me earlier, which is like, I love Ryan's like face that he makes whenever the camera's on him. <laughs> uh, I think they were 25 pounds. Lovely. Right, next. A new pot. Lovely. I'm flashing on red, so you might need to speed this up a, a little bit for me. <laughs> Some cork heat. Mats. Lovely. A sieve. Yes. That you chose. Thank you. What are they? Uh, soap dispensers. Let's see. Very good oh, they have a matte black top. <laughs> uh, apart from some lint rollers, which Ryan chose because he's a freak. That was it for Ryan's haul. I picked up this. I think this is like for garden and indoors, like a little wicker poof, which I'm so happy with. Biscuits, always. One of those baskets, oh, wooden spoon, jute baskets. This is a lamp. I'm hoping to put it in my porch way. And then we've got this, which DIY Rye is gonna put together for me. It's gonna be a little crate box for all of my gardening bits. Sandwich bags and sandwich bags for Lauren. Oh, we got Nala a dog bed for Ryan's house, which I'm still not sure he's sure about, but <laughs> Nala sat in it and she looked so cute. She was just, she kept sitting in it in the shop. Do you wanna sit in it? We got her dog cupcakes and schmackos because she's a spoiled princess. Good girl. Oh. So yeah, I think that's everything. Majorly excited about this. We went the whole way around and I didn't see it. And then Ryan took me down a weird path and I was about to be like, why have you taken us down this bit? But instead I was saying like, oh, I've been looking for this thing the whole time and I haven't seen it. And then I was like, and it's right here. So it was literally in front of me as I was saying it. So thank you to Ryan because literally did some magic and made it appear. But yeah, I'm so excited about this. I think it'll look cool in my hands. Had to try and stop myself buying all the wicker. Oh, cutlery. I'm so excited about this. I've been struggling with the fact that Ryan had four forks for so long now. <laughs> I have no excuse not to cook things though, so that's the only downside to this. Didn't really last very long, did it? As soon as I put my foot down, I'm not cooking anymore. <laughs> it's such a rarity as it is. That is our his and hers IKEA haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Once things are actually in my house, I will update you and show you them. I got my mum's birthday presents and I'm wondering if it's acceptable to gift your mum a pumpkin because you have too many. Can someone let me know? Is that acceptable? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it will be too late by the time 
you guys see this <laughs> how do we think the pumpkin as a gift is gonna go down guys let me know she's also got this so it's not a total cop-out present and this cute little mug it's from tesco but i saw it and i thought she'd like it i know she loves a shiny little mug with some flowers but will she like the pumpkin place your bets I'll let you know in the comments. So it's Friday, I'm just trying to have a little tidy up of my kitchen because I'm shooting some branded Instagram content in here this morning. I'm really happy because it's a really nice warm day and we've made the theme around this like spawn really summery. So I'm shooting in a bikini and I'm really happy about it. I basically love shooting in bikinis because basically at the moment I'm on my period. I don't know where I'm whispering partly because I think my neighbors can hit me. And they don't need to know that, neither do you, to be honest. But I really enjoy shooting in a bikini at this time of the month because the less clothes, the better. I just find I look extra bulky with clothes on at this time of the month. I know most people probably feel the opposite, but there's just something that's nice about like having cramps and not wearing a lot of clothes, if you know what I mean. My hair <laughs> today is just looking very, very bob-like. I think everyone on Instagram like genuinely believes that I have a bob. No, it's just my broken hair and I'm kind of rolling with it. I am speaking to my hairdresser about potentially just like bobbing it, but I'm not really sure because I feel like that's a real commitment. And it, there's that awkward growing out length that I, I would either want to have like short hair or long hair and because I like to grow my hair out there's always that awkward period about here that's just like I don't know so not really sure I kind of like it like this at the moment it's quite cute and then and it just like falls really nicely at the back I don't know I like it but I'm rocking a faux bob for today's shoot and yeah I thought I'd just pick up the camera and vlog anyway before I filming my boobs well before I get like sucked into all of the stuff that I need to kind of photograph and stuff today but so excited because it's like 27 degrees it feels like I'm on holiday like I opened the door this morning and I was like oh, it's like warm air and I just love that I also love it because this house in the winter is going to be absolutely arctic but it is really nice in the summer because i've got all the like lvt fake wood flooring and i think because it's all on one level as well like a ground floor level it stays really cool which is so nice brian's house last night was like a million degrees we slept here because there's a fan and it's much cooler it's so much nicer so this is like the perfect summer house i'm gonna freeze in the winter and i'll just take it because i love this house but yeah that is what we're up to this morning i've been tending to the pumpkins that was the first thing I did this morning. My orange tree is looking so happy. It's got so many flowers on it. Someone was like, you've got all the perfect, you've got the perfect tree combos for sangria. And I was like, I like that. I like it. But yeah, how do you know when an orange is ready to be picked? Because this one here is looking very kind of ready-ish, but is this stem meant to go like, is it meant to not be green? Is it meant to be brown? Need to know, need to look up that. It looks very healthy as well. It's probably my most healthy plant that I have at the moment. I'm so really excited because I think tonight I'm going to finalise my garden mood board. I already like, I've told you about my plans for it in other videos multiple times, but I'm finalising like the final, literally like the finer details on like how big I want the fence panels on the screen fence and little like decorative bits for me to purchase for the garden so that it just like, I can style it really nicely. I had so much fun last night, like Ryan's house because it's like a reno is like bare and I was taking all my Ikea purchases and like placing them around and i was just like loving my life i love styling homes so yeah i'm really excited to start my garden i'm praying that we get some good weather around the time that my garden is kind of like finished like the work has started because i don't think this garden will ever be finished i think i might just have to live in this house forever because there's so much i want to do to it i see new like ideas every day and i'm like oh i would love to do that and that i do not have the money for that but I will over like 20 years, so maybe I'm just gonna have to stay here forever because it's just the cutest house. My lemon tree is also looking super happy and healthy. I'm so sorry for those of you that find my garden chat boring, but I just find it fascinating. Like there's changes every single day and it's gorgeous. Look at all those plants. That's mad. What are they? I need to I need to look up how to like look after a lemon tree because I want these babies to grow. I was outside for two seconds and my eyes are already watering. It's that sunny. Ugh literally doom when you've just done your makeup i've got my iced coffee and well it's kind of a lukewarm coffee now but i like it in my favorite mug this is from asos i think i'll link it i love this brand of mug look at these bad boys i think i'm gonna have to go to the garden center and get like some temporary outdoor veg pots i'm not even entirely sure but these are like starting to grow out the bottom of their pots which is crazy so yeah they're gonna have to go live outdoors soon because this is a bit this is a bit much. I think my courgette plant also needs a repot, but this leaf is looking a little bit strange. I'm gonna Google it and see if it's okay, but if not, I might have to chop it off. But yeah, I think my courgette plant is gonna need moving very, very soon. You. 
in your fave spot. She just loves sitting there. It's the weirdest thing. I know it's because it's in the shade, but always there, like tucked against the wall. Hello everybody, it is Saturday. We are barbecuing today and I'm very excited. I have a shirtless Chef Ryan, which is like my favorite thing. What is that? Ooh. I've just been cleaning my car and Ryan fired up the barbecue and it's literally like the perfect weather day. It's so nice, I'm in my bikini, just like living my best summer life. This is great. My little eucalyptus tree is joining us outside because I am not sure it's built for the great indoors. So it's coming to the great outdoors. Hopefully you'll perk up a little bit out here. But you know what is cute? You. You are so beautiful to me. <laughs> and this, this is beautiful to me. Mm. I'm so excited. This salad looks really good. One that Chef Ryan prepared earlier. Oh my god, look at the size of these rows. <laughs> I also had deep fried brie as a starter, so RIP to my skin, which was actually looking decent because it's probably gonna be a full face of acne <laughs> for the next week now, and I'm okay with that. Good morning everybody. It's another gorgeous day. It's so warm today and we're gonna spend three hours in the car. Oh god, you got aircon. Yeah, oh my god, imagine. It is Ryan's birthday trip week. I can't remember the last time I vlogged. I feel like it might have been Thursday. I've since had another appointment at the hairdressers, so my blonde at the front is looking a little bit more toned down and I'm currently in the decision making process over whether to like permanently have the bob. So many of you think I have a bob on Instagram, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't, not yet, but it's basically that. I've learnt to blow dry my hair over the past few days because I've been a little bit bored at times and uh, I'm not mad about it. Happier with it, but I do feel like I basically just look like I did before now. I really should have done like a before and after just for myself because I feel like I just look the same. But yeah, that is my really uneventful hair reveal. Pretty much looks the same but more flicky and blow dry and slightly more healthy because I had the ends trimmed. But yeah, this morning we were on our way to get coffee. We are getting coffee because I literally can't function. I don't know how I'm actually speaking to you guys right now. And then we're gonna head off to Bath. I'm ready to go. Look at my cute little notebooks I got. These are from Tesco's. Slightly juvenile maybe, but I am really obsessed with them. So cute, I love this coral color. Got a 2021 planner, it starts from July because the year starts now. This has been a bit of a write off really, hasn't it guys? I've cracked out a good old film camera for this occasion and my Polaroid camera for the men's. And we're ready to go. So I'm just sat on the floor finishing up some work whilst Ryan is finishing off packing and getting ready. And I've just seen <laughs> probably one of my favorite comments ever on yesterday's video which would have been what i bought last week it was what i basically what i bought on my week off hopefully you guys will have seen it and i thought i'd show you yeah that really i feel like that really sums me up <laughs> i'm just having a little read through and lots of you are like saying that you love the home vlogs and the home content and the you know just everyday garden chat and then there's some of you that are like i don't want this i just want the fashion content and i really feel that like i feel that like i love home content and then i love fashion content um all right. I didn't touch anything that was not on the table. <laughs> but yeah, I really feel that. I feel like with my channel at the moment, it's such a 
divide that when I create beauty videos, it's just for the people that want beauty videos. And when I create home content, it's specifically for a certain group of you. And then fashion content is specifically for another group of you because my channel has been around for like nearly a decade, which is terrifying. I've evolved and it's evolved so much since I was 19 years old. So that's to be expected. So I will continue, don't worry guys, I will continue to do a mix. But yeah, it has been more vloggy lately, obviously because of lockdown, we've just been at home and I feel like we've all just been at home. So I feel like home content is way more natural and it's what we've all been doing. But yeah, there will still be like a variety of content. I'm just obviously filming just what I'm naturally doing and it definitely is more like homey stuff, which also comes part and parcel with having just bought a house. But yeah, I just wanted to say, I see your feedback and I'm here, like I hear you and there will still be a variety. I'm really looking forward to getting back on the fashion content over the next couple of weeks. Now I'm actually like doing more. And if you haven't seen my what I wore in a week and you love the fashion content, then I will link that because I feel like sometimes things get missed. I see comments that are like, I want this. And I'm like, I've done this, I've done it. I literally just did it. So yeah, just in case you have missed anything, I will pop recent vlogs in the info box as always. But yeah, that is gonna be it for me today. I'm sorry if this vlog, I haven't actually like watched my footage back from this week yet. And uh, I'm sorry if it was like a little bit like nothingy. I feel like it's just been one of those weeks, few days. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and little update. And I'm sorry that my hair is not in a bob. Yeah, my first uh, trip back to the hairdressers was definitely not as expected. So yeah, we'll see how we get on, but there might be a bob coming very very soon but i'm gonna go now we're gonna go to bath we're staying at babington house you look very comfy back there but yeah i will pick the camera up and start vlogging again as much as possible i've actually realized i haven't bought spare batteries with me so we'll see how we go with the content whilst i'm away but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you guys again very very soon goodbye do you want to say bye 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 <laughs>